Hello and welcome to today's video. In this video, you'll see how to make an API call in your Next.js project. So here I already have a Next.js project up and running here. So here I have a page called home, which renders an H3 tag on the, on the page with a message. So here we'll see how to make an API call. So here, once this page has loaded completely, we'll make use of the use effect hook to know that the page has loaded. And in that onload call, we'll be making an API call. So for this, we'll first be requiring an API. So, so I'll be making use of an online API called JSON placeholders slash users, which will be giving me a list of users, which I can render on my application. I'll go to my page code here. Inside the page component, I'll define the use effect hook. In Visual Studio, you can double click on this thing and something like this will show on the left hand side. Clicking on it will show the possible options. So here I can click on add import from React. Once this has been imported, I want this use effect hook to run when the application has simply loaded or when the page has loaded or this particular stuff when this page has loaded this will do the job now in this particular use effect hook I'll define another method called get data which will be doing the job of fetching the data from the API so this will be an asynchronous method and I'll be making a call to this particular method here. Get data. Right. Now inside this get data method, we'll be making use of the fetch API. Cons query will be equal to fetch and I'll pass in the API endpoint. We also need to add a weight here. And response will be equal to weight query dot JSON. That will give us the API response. So once this thing has loaded, API data will be here in this particular variable. We can try logging this thing console.log response from API response you should be able to see the API response here in the console maybe we should go a bit ahead and try rendering this data on our component so I'll just go here and define Cons user info set user info will be equal to I'll be making use of another hook called use state to keep the data in a state and we can use the user info variable here so if user info and user info has some data in that case we'll be iterating over user info and this will return some stuff here let's let's render the name of the particular user in each case so i'll be i'll create so i'll create an h2 tag here maybe an h4 tag here And I'll return the name of the user, which will be user dot name, right? And I can define this thing to be any. Now we need to do one more thing. We need to assign the value to our user info here. You go here and then you need to set the data. Set user info to response. I save this thing and you should be able to see the names being rendered on the screen like this so i hope you find this video useful if you do then please don't forget to subscribe to this channel it means a lot 
please do support by sharing and liking the video too thanks for watching